Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about the sequence of operation of this Coleman CGU furnace. Uh, I'll point out a few things first. Okay, this is the ignition control. Now that is an ignition control. It's not an integrated furnace control. This was before the integrated furnace controls came about. This particular control would try to ignite three times and then it would lock out and it locks out I believe this one locks out forever and you'll have to shut off the power to get it to try again so it's going to try three times for ignition and then it's going to lock out okay sequence and we'll go through this sequence we'll let the machine operate we'll interrupt things as we go but the sequence of operation is when there's a call for heat and I'm going to my little terminal board here and I've got a jumper between R and W so when I put power to this thing the first thing that's going to happen is the inducer is going to be energized okay it'll start up the pressure switch here has to make if the pressure switch doesn't make the inducer just continues running and uh, nothing else happens but let's say our pressure switch makes, then we get power down to the ignition control and the timer start. Okay, when that power comes to it, there's a sh slight delay. I can't remember how long it is. We'll go over it in a bit. But, uh, and the hot surface igniter is turned on. That's these two wires going in here. And you'll see the glow from the hot surface igniter. Uh, this is a slow... Uh, hot surface igniter means it goes I think this one goes 45 seconds um, it's long it's forever okay it will glow trial for ignition will turn on you get power right here to the gas valve and it will attempt to light if it does light the uh, hot surface igniter in addition to being the uh, uh, what lights the burner it is also the flame sensing uh, part of this thing this this control will only use that type of flame sense uh, if it senses flame it'll stay on if it doesn't sense flame it'll shut off and like I said it'll try three times and then lock out uh, if it does come on there is a fan switch uh, there's a fan switch and a limit switch in there uh, which I will probably show you in another video uh, and the fan switch will turn on and uh, the furnace is running and heating the structure okay I've cut the lighting down so you can see the glow of the igniter call for heat the inducer just came on okay there you can see the glow and we're gonna get a trial for ignition here in a minute Okay, you can kind of see that uh, that the burner came on, hot surface igniter came off, and your cycle on, and the fan switch is going to turn on the fan when the heat exchanger warms. Okay, let's go through a sequence of operation of this machine. That's going to tell us, you know, where the problem uh, is. Should tell us. Inducer should come on. Pressure switch should make. Now this pressure switch will make at about 0.35 inches water column. It's usually a lot higher than that, the, the vacuum that's pulled. Check the vacuum here. Okay, and this, this pipe is going up to, can't see that very well, but uh, it's going up to the inducer, pulling a vacuum there. So if the uh, inducer comes on then the pressure switch must make that's going to feed power down to this valve you can see you got a wire going straight down there and that is a th wire for thermostat which is uh, giving 24 volt power down to the board to begin its sequence okay power into it then power should come out in the form of the uh, 
hot surf surface igniter glowing and then the gas valve opening for its uh, trial for ignition. And that sequence of operation and how the board works on the CGU furnace.